And after the North's latest missile launch, its longest range weapon yet, the United States is weighing its options. More sanctions are likely on the way, but with so many already on the regime, many think they won't be very effective. And that's leading some in Washington to warn that war could be on the horizon. Yun Shin has this report. The U.S. is running out of time when it comes to North Korea. This, according to top Republican Senator Lindsey Graham. In an interview with CBS, Graham warned that every missile test pushes Washington closer to a preemptive military strike. His comment echoes those of National Security Advisor H.R. McMaster, who said over the weekend that the possibility of war with North Korea is increasing every day. Pyongyang's test of an ICBM last week, believed to be able to hit all parts of the continental U.S., sent tensions soaring. But reports say Washington officials now believe the missile likely disintegrated while re-entering the Earth's atmosphere. Washington seems to think North Korea's ICBM technology is not yet perfected. Experts say the recent missile likely did not survive re-entry into the atmosphere, so most officials believe now is not the time for talk of preemptive war. So for the time being, Washington will likely turn to more sanctions aimed at putting economic pressure on the North. According to President Trump, another set of major sanctions on the isolated regime is on its way. But again, questions remain about whether they will make a difference. At the moment, it's expected Washington will target the North's marine transportation by putting additional sanctions on its trading companies. A naval blockade as a new measure is also possible. But without cooperation from China and Russia, it's unclear how effective these sanctions could be. New measures on a global scale, including China and Russia, are also expected in the coming weeks. The UN Security Council will hold a meeting of foreign ministers on the 15th, where they'll likely consider what more can be done beyond the waves of sanctions they've already imposed. Yin Shin, Arirang News.